Is the British monarchy facing its most challenging times yet? This question has been on the minds of many as King Charles III battles a significant health ordeal. Amidst the storm, Queen Camilla has emerged as a beacon of resilience and fortitude. Her recent appearance at Salisbury Cathedral was more than just a public duty. It was a testament to her unwavering dedication and her pivotal role as the monarch's consort in these testing times. These circumstances have cast a new light on the royal consort, revealing a woman of strength and resolve. Even as her husband's health continues to be a matter of public concern, her public commitments reflect her steadfast commitment to her role, even as the personal toll becomes increasingly evident. As the winds of uncertainty continue to blow, Queen Camilla stands firm, providing a sense of stability amidst the turbulence. Queen Camilla, a beacon of resilience and fortitude, steps up amid the King's health ordeal. Beneath the regal facade, a hint of vulnerability emerges. Queen Camilla, in her recent public appearance, offered a candid update on King Charles's condition. Her words, laced with the stoicism we've come to expect from royalty, also revealed an underlying vulnerability. The phrase she used, doing extremely well under the circumstances, is laden with significance. It implies a challenging journey for the king, a journey that would test the mettle of the strongest among us. Yet within this phrase, there also lies a sense of hope, an affirmation that despite the trials, the king is holding his own. This stoic update, however, is not without its toll. One look at Camilla's weary countenance tells us of the emotional strain she's under. She stands by her king, sharing his burden and facing the public with grace and fortitude. Her words speak volumes, revealing a challenging journey for the king, yet buoyed by the public's outpouring of support, the crown and the commoner, a shared moment of concern and solidarity. As Queen Camilla navigates the public eye, her demeanor hints at the private struggles within the royal family. Amidst the regal decorum and duty, the humanity of the monarchy shines through. Her words laced with stoicism and strength reveal a vulnerable undercurrent. King Charles, she shares, has been very touched by the public's messages of support. This simple sentiment, heartfelt and sincere, is a testament to the bond between the monarchy and the people they serve. It's a moment of empathy, a shared concern that transcends the boundaries of royalty and commoner. Behind the palace walls, the royal family is not immune to the trials of life. They too experience worry and fear, hope and relief. And in these shared experiences, a human connection emerges. It bridges the gap between the crown and the commoner, reminding us all that we are more alike than we are different. In these testing times, a human connection bridges the gap between monarchy and the masses. A deeply personal saga unfolds within the public eye. As we delve deeper into the royal narrative, we encounter a notable subplot. Prince Harry's brief rendezvous with his ailing father, King Charles. This meeting, though fleeting, is loaded with implications. Offering us a glimpse into the private dynamics of the Windsor household. It suggests a familial bond that, despite the glare of the spotlight and the weight of royal duty, remains resilient, if somewhat strained. Against this backdrop, we find Prince William grappling with his own set of challenges. His role as the future king, coupled with his brother's distance from the crown, adds another layer of complexity to the royal story. These interactions, these personal struggles and triumphs, reveal the underlying currents that subtly shape the course of the monarchy. As we navigate this intricate narrative, we find ourselves drawn into a world where duty and love intersect, where private leaves and public roles merge. The narrative takes an intriguing turn, hinting at underlying currents within the royal family. 
Amidst the crisis, the palace's narrative frames Camilla as the monarchy's cornerstone. Camilla's public appearances, brimming with grace, are a stark contrast to the turmoil in the backdrop of Charles's diagnosis. She stands firm, her smile unwavering, her demeanor calm. It's a delicate dance between personal resilience and the demands of royal duty, a balancing act that Camilla seems to have mastered. There's a strategic narrative being weaved here, painting Camilla as the savior of the royal family. It's an intriguing notion, yet it rings true. As the consort of the king, Camilla has always been a supporting figure. But in these testing times, her role is evolving. She's no longer just the king's consort. She's a beacon of strength, her resilience a guiding light amidst the storm. This is the new narrative of the monarchy, and it's one that cements Camilla's place as a key figure within the royal family. Queen Camilla emerges as the savior, balancing personal resilience with the demands of royal duty.